So this is a uh, Charles Schwab. I mean, not Charles. <laughs> uh, Klaus Schwab. I should uh, use the mnemonic memory system that I've developed here for you. Like, uh, you need it and I don't. Uh, yeah, this is a bad guy. He's making uh, claws with his hands. And, uh, you know, he's the, the, the founder, executive chairman of the World Economic Forum. He's a bad guy. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we'd call him an enemy of the state. I think we would call him the enemy of the world. Now, I haven't read any of his writings or listened to him talk or anything like that, but I've uh, listened to plenty of uh, people who are way more informed than I am. And uh, they describe this guy, if memory serves, I, th I th really think that he is the enemy of the world. He, he believes in this, uh, not only in a, like a system where we don't own, nobody owns anything. I guess that's communism. But they're going to be happy. Uh, that's what he says. And uh, I think he's all for this post-human industrial world or something like that, where eventually all the humans, uh, they, they upload their memories and everything, their, their personality program into uh, a computer, but they just kind of become a, a robot. I think there was a movie starring Bruce Willis where people were almost like that. Anyway, uh, but there, there's no humans. You don't get to put on a virtual reality helmet and live outside the world with uh, some mechanical body. No, no, no. Uh, you're really dead. Uh, they're going to lie to you, give you a religion, lie to you, tell you that uh, your soul is going to go into a machine, and it's not. Uh, you'll just be dead. They don't like humans. You know the Now, I'm not judging. I don't know if Klaus Schwab is, um, you know, I, I, I give everybody the benefit of a doubt that they, they could get saved. They could repent and become a Christian, you know. But let's just say some people have a seared conscience and they cannot come to the Lord Jesus for whatever reason. Maybe maybe they uh, were a Christian at one time, a very good, strong Christian, gave up on, on Jesus. Who knows? Uh, maybe they're just so wicked and so evil that they have really kind of like literally soul, sold their soul to the devil. And uh, I'm not trying to, to slander. I don't know this man. So to me, he's really kind of an image just the image of the beast almost, you know. And I, I'm putting a name on him, so I'm sorry if I'm going too far and slandering. I don't know this man. But I think we better we better wake up and realize that if this, if this is not the end times, if this is not 666 time, then it's something we got to fight anyway. Fight.